I'm Jeanette with Sparks IQ. These tech tips will help you light up any Zoom or Teams or whatever virtual meeting platform you use. Good lighting can make your video presence so much better. And most people overlook an incredible source of natural light. If you have a window or sliding glass door in your workspace, get as close to it as you can. Closer, closer. Okay, stop, that's too close. My desk faces these glass doors so that I can take advantage of all of this natural light. The glass also helps diffuse the light a little bit. If the sunlight gets too harsh, I'll just close my linen curtains. I actually got these just because I wanted something that would block all of the harsh light, but let enough in so that I could still host my virtual meetings here. One of the biggest mistakes that people make is turning their backs on natural light. Most of the time, if you have a bright light source behind you, that light will shoot directly into your camera lens and it will automatically close, which makes your face even harder to see. Usually, you'll end up with a silhouette where your face doesn't have enough light. And unless you want everyone in your meeting thinking they're watching an episode of 60 Minutes, turn around and face that light. My next tip is to invest in an LED light. A little ring light can go a long way. And they come in a bunch of different sizes and price points, so you can find one that's right for you. I picked this one because of these great features. This button lets me dim or brighten the light. This one lets me change the color temperature. Ever wonder how some people's virtual backgrounds actually look real? One reason is that their light is the same color temperature. Light is on a scale from cool to warm. Blue light is cold. Orange light is warm. I try to match my ring light color temperature to my virtual background. This light also came with a small tripod that lets me adjust the height of my light. If you have one light, try to place it directly behind your web camera. Try your best to keep your light at eye level and keep your eyes in the top third of your screen. Good lighting and good framing go hand in hand. Instead of making this common mistake, reduce your headroom. I know that's not technically about lighting, but I couldn't resist sneaking in a bonus tip. If you have more than one light, you can place one on either side of your webcam. If you really want to look good, I'll give you a tip I used when I was a TV producer. TV anchors have an extra little light on their desk that help remove shadows under their chin. You definitely don't need to go that far to look good on camera. The most important thing is that you start paying attention to your lighting and put your natural light sources to work for you so they're not working against you.